Hi guys and ladies, I love recipes with bold taste. A little spicy and bold, you know? Well, I found a five starfish recipe online that seems to be kicking. <laughs> I've got everything I need to make this. Uh, 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 except one, the fish. <laughs> so let's try picking some up at our private fish market. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. It's small, right off the bat, it's small. But you know, I'm supposed to call these small ones from the lake. There's just too many of them and they take up too much of the food supply. So I could fillet him. Let's get him out of here. to lip this one. No, we don't. Ah, the hook fell out of its mouth. Look at how nice that one is. In 92 degree heat, 15 and three quarter inches. I have to let them go. These are the ones we're trying to preserve in the lake. That's what the biologist said. So let's release them. Let me show you what I'm using today. This is called a zoom trick worm. On it, I have an O-ring, a 3 16th inch O-ring, the kind of washer you use in your bathroom faucet. And I slipped a hook under it, and the hook is a circle hook. Circle hooks don't get swallowed. They get the fish in the lip instead, and that's why I love it so much. This might be called an octopus hook. It's the same thing. And the way to fish it is you don't rear back when a fish picks it up. You just pull gently, gently but firmly. No jerking. Oh, another little skagits, but they make great eating. <laughs> Let's keep them. And look, he's not hooked deep. The circle hook is wonderful. That's a nice fish. I don't care what lake you fish. This is a nice fish. 16 and a half. Still, it's a nice fish. Let's put him back in a hurry. just a little guy, but you could see him come running for it. That is so cool. Get out of those lily pads. <sighs> That's what I'm looking for. All right. And look how he's hooked. Huh? I want to try this before we go in the house. It's a 1 8 ounce Strike King spinner bait. I like this little guy. Very small. Oh, 
Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Just a ticket. Uh. The kind we need to remove. It's one more for the stringer. Looky here, I got a bunch of bass and it might be enough for the recipe. I might have a pound of fillets after I'm all through. And that's enough for this bold and spicy recipe. Let's get in the house and fillet these guys and tomorrow we'll work on that recipe. Well, to avoid the heat yesterday, I fished very late. I didn't have much hope that I could catch enough bass for dinner. But looky here, I ended up with like a pound and a third of these nice fillets. So we can make a bold fish dish of bass with chili, cumin, and lime. But before that, let's make a quickie low-carb side dish. What I'm going to do now is make Mexican rice. Ah, 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 you know me, it can't be real rice. I have cauliflower here, low carb cauliflower rice. I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons of olive oil in this big skillet. I've got four ounces of chopped onion. Here's about a teaspoon and a half of chopped garlic. You know the stuff from the jar, so easy. I'm gonna saute this for just a couple minutes, two or three minutes. Here's a tablespoon and a half of good quality chili powder. I sent away for this long time ago. Here's a teaspoon and a half of cumin. Let's stir this up. Now it's time to add our bogus rice. I've had this on medium, medium low for like 15 minutes. And it's just now starting to get soft enough. You don't want to eat raw cauliflower. So now I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. You might want to use less because of your chili powder being different. Now it says to add a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Well look, I've got a 10 ounce can of Rotel. This is more like Mexican stuff. Let's put the, oh I drained it. Let's stir it in and see what happens. This is about 13 and a half times darker than the picture in the recipe. Well, let's go. Let me taste a little. Oh, oh, that's really good. It's cooked just perfectly. Soft, but not too soft. Oh, it's wonderful. Now, just before I serve this up, I'm gonna add a little bit of cilantro and some lime juice. Let's get on with the fish. I have to sprinkle spices on the fish. So here's what I thought. Why not put them in this thing? This is uh, two teaspoons of chili powder. This recipe looks too easy. Something's going to go wrong. The recipe calls for dried parsley, but I don't know about you, but I cannot taste dried parsley. So I'm using oregano, a teaspoon of oregano. Now a teaspoon of salt, but remember I'm using non-salted chili powder. Now stir it up with your favorite steak knife. Here's our fish. Now I've got non-stick foil and I greased it a little too. Let's just try sprinkling our spices. One side only. Let's put our little gullible guppies in the oven for like seven minutes at 450 and in the meantime we can make a cumin and lime butter sauce. I'm going to melt three tablespoons of butter. Now into our butter a half teaspoon of cumin. Now the juice of one whole lime. While our finny friends are roasting away in the oven, I should let you all know, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is arriving here for dinner tonight. Any minute now, I'm, I'm on cloud nine. Although I should come down now because you see, we've been seeing each other for like 
over five decades, yet she doesn't seem interested in marrying me. I think it's my lack of wealth that's holding her back. It's time. Oh, oh, I'm sure they're done. Oh, they look beautiful. Oh, the smell, the aroma. Mm, they look good. I put a little of our butter sauce on a piece of fish. Here goes. Oh, oh, mm. delayed reaction. It's delicious. Southwest flavors, rich, buttery, not over seasoned. It's wonderful. I think your family will love this. This is great. I did it. Well, once again, I'm privileged to have with me the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for dining with me here at my uh, paltry, pathetic prefab. And you had a chance to gleefully gobble up my fraudulent Mexican rice and my bass with chili, cumin, and lime. And I'm eager to hear what you thought of it. Both were very nicely flavored. I enjoyed the, the chili taste and the rice was a lot like it, almost like it had beans in it. It was yeah. really good. And the <laughs> bass dark. with the butter sauce, I, it was very tasty. And of course I love cilantro mm -hmm. and cumin. Mm -hmm. Very good flavors. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Miss Cheeks, uh, you know, I, I know I haven't been a successful businessman. Uh, I don't have much in the way of money, but you know, I'm honest and I'm real about it. Yeah, even your reality check bounced. Huh? Oh. Can I have a hug?